Tennessee family. It is me, Dr. Pastor Reverend Brent Clothard. Today's devotion is inspired by the story of Noah and his family. Like us, they were cooped up for an extended period of time, and they didn't even have air conditioning, plus a lot of animal cages. Do you know what animal cages smell like? But even stinkier than the animals was probably the three brothers' attitude. I should know. I have brothers. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time, and he walked with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. So God said to Noah, I am going to put an end to all people, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am surely going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark ark of cypress wood, make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out. This is how you are to build it. The ark is, is to be 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Make a roof for it and finish the ark within 18 inches of the top. Put a door in the side of the ark and make lower, middle, and upper decks. You are to take every kind of food that is to be eaten and store it away. Noah did everything just the way God commanded him. Genesis chapter 6 verse 11 mentions, The earth was corrupt in God's sight. In God's eyes, the earth was dying. God's creation entered to humankind, but people were being cruel to each other and disrespecting God's creations. By contrast, Noah led a just, righteous life in comparison to the others around him. Respecting God in Hebrew, his name means comfort. Noah's to bring comfort to a cursed earth. And the Lord said, then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Take with you seven of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and two of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate. Various kinds, and also seven, also seven of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature that I have made. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. In the 600th year of Noah's life, on the 17th day of the second month, on that day all the springs of the great deep burst forth and the floodgates of the heavens were opened. On that very day, Noah's his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his wife and the wives of his children, entered the ark. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, everything with wings. Pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. The animals, the animals were going in, male and female of every living kind, as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut them him in. Genesis chapter 6 verse 14 mentions, Make yourself an ark. The ark is a Hebrew word for box or container. In the Bible, it is also used to describe the basket of baby Moses. Noah's ark, like Moses' basket, represents God's protection and salvation. In, Psalms chap in Genesis chapter 7 verse 4 mentions 40 days and 40 nights. In the Bible, the number 40 is associated with most of God's mighty acts. Here, the flood is seen as a story of salvation leading to a new era, not an act of destruction. And Genesis chapter 7 verse 16 mentions that the Lord shut him in. God is symbolically separating the righteous from the wicked. The lessons I learned from this story, the lessons I learned from the story, the stink is better than the storm. And safe, that's what the ark was. It was safe. Everything God made belongs to him. 
He can do with it as he chooses. You don't stay in the ark forever. This is a season. When it's over, a new one will start. And all the people that died just comes to show that if you don't, if you disobey God's commandments, things are not going to go well for you. You can't stop a train by standing in the track. You can't stop an avalanche by yelling, Hey, turn back! And standing in the way of what God's going to do will be really, 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 really not so good for you. You can't stop a bullet by holding up your hand. You can't stop a buffalo with a rubber band. And standing in the way of what God is going to do will be really, 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 really not so good for you. But the God we serve is good, and his rescue plan is too. And that's really, 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 really very good for you.